The eternal flame is officially transferred. During a ceremony on October 29th, John McHugh, the Secretary of the Army, transferred the iconic JFK eternal flame from its temporary burner back to its permanent home in the circular stone at the 35th President's gravesite. The Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, with its contractor partner, Meltech Incorporated, spent the past several months upgrading the old eternal flame, which had reached the end of its anticipated lifespan and needed to be replaced. This process goes back into realizing and recognizing that the flame which has been burning since 1967 on this site needed replacement and then getting the new flame up to date with various codes and other engineering procedures to get it more reliable and dependable. Crowds visiting the gravesite won't be able to see the majority of the upgrade work on new air and gas lines as well as new safety controls out of view. But what they will see is a new burner assembly that was designed to keep the flame lit in all kinds of weather conditions. Brian Swirsky, owner of Gas Man Services and Consulting, fabricated the burner. It's uh, important to a lot of people uh, that uh, it be done correctly. And I knew that I had the experience and the know-how to uh, build a torch that would uh, withstand the elements. Uh, there's a lot more to uh, an eternal flame than most people uh, realize. Swirsky says the flame is really two burners in one. The main burner burns pure gas, while the pilot burner relies on a precise mixture of air and gas vented through six ports on a pilot ring. With us uh, pre-mixing the air with the gas at the pilot ring, we have a very consistent, stable, eternal flame. Each of these ports has an igniter, which sparks igniting the gas if the system detects a flame is absent. It's what ultimately keeps the flame from being extinguished by wind or rain. For the district, the upgrade marks another chapter in its novel length history with the flame. We started in concept working this flame in 1963 when the requirement was given to the Corps. With the flame back in its rightful spot, the cemetery staff says the legacy of JFK will continue to inspire with a flame that burns bright. President Kennedy continues to inspire generations and restoring this flame to its original condition guarantees that the generations to come will continue to be inspired by the President's service to the country. From Arlington National Cemetery, Patrick Bloodgood.